Hi, this is Julie with Beetaholic, and today I want to show you how to use the Crystal Applicator Tool. This is a really fun tool, and you're going to find a lot of uses for it in your jewelry projects. So what this does is this allows you to very easily and quickly apply snaps, buttons, rose pins, and various other items which were in the past very difficult, time-consuming, and expensive to apply. I've done a quick little project here that I'm wearing. This is just a cuff bracelet. I've done a little pico edge, which we have a bead embroidery video for, and I've placed two Swarovski snap fasteners on the edge. I'm going to show you just how easy this is to remove and take on and off. So I have the bottom part here, and there's a front and back, and I have the top with the pretty crystal and then the front and the back. So I am going to show you how easy this is to do. This tool is pretty lightweight. I'm not the strongest gal in the world and I can easily hold it. It's also very easy to close. This little dial right here is going to adjust the height of the bar, which is going to show you where you can close it. When you get this, it should probably already be set and be okay that you can easily close your tool. If need be though, you can just adjust it, move this down so you can close the handles a little bit more. So what I've got in front of me here is I've got a couple different snap fasteners. These actually here are the snap fasteners, and there's going to be four parts to them. And I've also got a couple little decorative buttons, and then there's only two parts to them because they're just a little decorative flourish and a little button, and they don't need their backside. But today I want to show you how to apply a snap, and I've got some ultra suede here. So you have two die, set, die sets, one for the top part of your snap and one for the bottom part of your snap. And the way you apply these is they've got this little screw here. It's very easy to screw. Screwing right or, or clockwise is going to tighten it. Screwing left counterclockwise is going to loosen it. And I actually often think of a Christmas tree base when I'm trying to screw in a Christmas tree trunk, so that might be a one way of thinking of this. So I'm going to apply the ones with the dials are always going to go on the top of the tool. So loosen the screw as far back as you can. You don't need to remove the screw, but just make sure that when you look in there, it's not protruding out from the interior circumference. And I'm just going to put this right on top of this rod, and I'm going to fasten it. I'm going to keep turning until I can turn no more. You don't need to turn it so that it gets to be too tight, but just turn until you can't turn anymore. And for the bottom one, all I have to do is drop it in. Now you're going to want to test before you put anything in there and make sure that it closes all the way, and it does, so we're good there. You'll see there's this little cushioned area. What you're going to do there is you're going to take the top part of your snap fastener, which is the decorative part, and lay it face down in that little cushioned area so that the prongs face up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom part, and you're going to have it, if you look at it on a profile view, the area that sticks out a little bit more, that's raised, is going to go looking down at the prongs, so the flat side up towards the top. And you're just going to, let me take out this little button so you can see how you're going to put this. You see that little notch there? So you're going to put the little hole right over that notch. And if, sometimes it takes two hands, I've noticed, to be able to do this. You just want to make sure that's secure. There you go, it's snapped into place. And now I'm going to just put that little top part back on. I'm going to take my piece of ultra suede or whatever material you are using, and I'm going to rest the material on the base part. And then I'm going to just almost close. And I'm just going to hold it here because what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have it lined up exactly where I want it because you only get one shot at this. You can't remove these. So you can just lightly press it down so it catches, but you're not actually compressing it all the way. So I can still change my mind at this point, move it around. And when I'm happy with it, I am just going to press my handles all the way down. You heard that snap. That meant it was secure. Release and pull off. And that is on there, and that is secure. So that's the top part of the snap, and now I want to show you how to apply the bottom half. So now I'm going to turn to the left, or counterclockwise, unscrew the top die, remove the bottom die, and repeat the same process. So now I'm going to make sure that my screw, you can see that's 
going in there. I don't want that. I want it to go all the way to the left. Just place that on top of my of this rod here. Fasten it. Drop into place the bottom die. I'm going to take this what looks like a little round disc with prongs. So I want the prongs to face up again. And then I'm going to take my snap part and I am just going to put it, you'll see there's a little hole. And I'm just going to put the snap up into that little hole just like that and it catches perfectly. Again, I'm going to make sure that this closes all the way and it does. Now you want to be careful when you're doing your fabric, you want to figure out where the snaps are going to line up. This is very important because you do only get one shot at this. I'm going to rest this down here real quick. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to fold your fabric. Now if you have two pieces like this, it's a little bit easier, but if you are trying to make something match, so you want to figure out where that's going to line up. So I can see that I want this to go into my tool just like that. I'm just going to put this back on here, put that guy back on here. Again, I'm going to eyeball it, make sure it looks good before I do any actual punching here. And there we go. And I'm not applying a lot of pressure to use this tool. So then what I can do is now I've got my snap. And that is all there is to using the crystal applicator tool, which is a great way to expand your design possibilities for both jewelry, clothing, and home decor.